So, Mum's been talking about this coffee machine, the Mocha Express, that we've got, and she really, we really wanted to show you how it works. Is that what it's actually called? Yeah, the Mocha Express. Oh, okay, alright. Well, yeah, he's right. So, I am slightly in love with this. Cabbage. Mocha. And all sorts of This is mean you're going to make me coffee now? Yes. All right. So, separates into three parts. So, top part has got, actually four parts because the top part has got the little aerator on there. And then this bit here comes out, obviously. So, you fill the bottom bit with water. Okay, this has taken a bit of a battering, hasn't it? Because we've used it every day on the trip. Yeah. So there's a marker Second line. hand. Yeah. It's a marker line on the inside. Put that bit in there. All right, what bit comes next? Um. Well, yeah, you put that stuff in, don't you? What is this stuff? Uh, coffee. Yeah, this is coffee. Top there. Just pack it down a little bit. Okay. And then... Um... <laughs> You're right there, <laughs> cameraman. And then flatten it. Back on. Yeah. And you have to make sure they're on really tight because otherwise it will make a mess on the stove, as you've seen us do. Hey. <laughs> yes. And then we'll just pop the milk inside. Get the milk. Mummy is vegan, so she has to have oats or almond milk. But if we do that, we buy the barista ones usually. Yeah. Up to the bottom of the little black, I'll just put some there. Up to the bottom of the little black bit. That's good. I didn't know it doesn't leak out of there. No, it doesn't leak, you know. And then you put that that bit there on top. That's that the bubbler, isn't it? Yeah, the that's the aerator, yeah. So you pop it on and then as you twist it around it pops down a little bit. You can see it. Pop it on the stove and it says on top, push down for cappuccino. And what will happen is this bit here will pop up when the pressure builds from below. So we're going to pop it on there. And then we'll come back after it has started to boil. Okay. Oh, I think that thingy has popped up. No, not yet. You'll hear no. it. It goes just like that. Mm. Okay, it's oh. Can you take it off? No, look, come around this side. You can see it frothed up. You can see the froth. Extremely noisy. It's not extremely noisy. Okay. Just a little bit. Cut it off. Stay there and I'll get the cup. Yeah. Mummy's right. going to have a lovely so, coffee. It's nice and frothy. Whoa. How good is that? <laughs> so it popped up and I'm going to pour it over the sink. So if you move out of the road for a sec. Just in case because I'm a bit of a clumsy one. Oh. Looks lovely. It does look lovely, doesn't it? You can get the froth. And the big, di biggest difference is when you use real milk, like the milk Dad likes, or you kids Mom. like, dairy milk, it <laughs> makes it really nice and thick and frothy. Yes. Yeah. Which is why, Mummy, how, what do you rate this coffee machine? Oh, to be honest, like we paid, I think we paid fifty bucks for a second hand, but I think it's not over, not much over a hundred dollars, and I reckon that's really good value because. Now Give we, me, yes, that's yours, yeah. Because now we don't buy coffee on the road. Yeah. So I think that that is actually worth it. So out of five stars, oh. how do you raise it? Oh, I'd probably give it a four and a half, to be honest. Four and a half? Yeah. Mm. And there's the end result. Mum. It's yummy. It Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Virtual cheers.